And uh, the interrogator, uh, first thing he said was, you're Jewish. And I said, how do you know? He says, because you got a long nose. So I said, my goodness, how come you're sitting where you're sitting? And uh, he said, Varum, why? And I said, because turn your head this way. Yours is even longer than mine. So I got beat up a bit. And uh, it's good that my, uh, my dog tags fell off when I parachuted it out because it had an H on it, which surprised me because uh, uh, I thought long ago, in fact, about 75 years ago now, um, although I grew up in a Jewish family, uh, my mother was Jewish, uh, and uh, I, it was supposed to have nothing on it. And I think if it had something on it, I wouldn't be here talking to you because uh, a lot of... Uh, uh, Jewish fighters were either killed or sent to was like a, a death camp in prison and uh, then they uh, um, uh, they decided that the lobby to Budapest this was a little town called Magyarova where I got shot down in Hungary and I was moved there in a cattle car uh, it still smelled of all the animals in it. And they uh, put me in solitary confinement for three days. They uh, put in with me on the second day uh, uh, someone who claimed that he was an American, spoke perfect English, but uh, it was obvious he, he was no way was one of our flyers because he had this uh, silk scarf and leather jacket. You know, we, we flew in sweatshirts. So uh, I gave them nothing, no information, and they yanked him out. Uh, every day we stood in line. There were other prisoners also in uh, isolation. And I had a uh, tiny, tiny compass for escape purposes, and I had it in between two of my fingers when the... Uh, the guard uh, discovered that another person did, and it happened to fall out of his hand at the time. So he went down, and when he discovered mine, uh, um, with his whip, and they all had you know, little whips, he hit me so hard on my neck that I still have lots of troubles with my neck. Uh, almost as if he severed my head from my body. Uh, then I was put back into solitary confinement. Then they decided that uh, this fellow is, can't seem to die. So they put me in the back of a truck, open truck, tied my hands on my feet, and with a loudspeaker yelled, uh, uh, death to this American gangster. And this was later translated for me. That's what the loudspeaker was saying. And I was stoned for one solid hour. Uh, they all thought that by this time I was dead. I was limp, and I guess I looked dead. So two of the Hungarians, one took my feet, one took my hand, my uh, head, and uh, just tossed me into this building. And where the next day they would take me to Berry Ring. And uh, I was almost dead. And then I decided, uh, why should I let them get away with this? And that revived me, just that thought. So I told them, uh, I used, I said, oh, yeah, all of you can go to hell. I'll outlive all of you. <laughs>